first run in 1973, Rally Portugal earned its fame as a mixed surface event, taking in tarmac and gravel over a rally weekend. Based in the north of the country, it was one of the most famous rallies on the calendar, attracting huge amounts of spectators, not just local, but from neighbouring country Spain. Eventually, though, spectator safety became a major concern. The event effectively became a victim of its own success. With crowd control becoming an ever-increasing concern, in 2001, Rally Portugal was dropped from the WRC calendar. After the ever-changing surfaces of Rally Monte Carlo, the snow of Sweden and the altitude of Mexico, Rally Portugal marks the first of the non-specific events on the calendar. But don't be fooled into thinking the rallies have gotten any easier. The roads of Rally Portugal are some of the most technical of the year. Full of blind crests, precise pace notes are perhaps more critical here than on any other rally. Get it wrong in Portugal and the result is invariably a very big off. Basically, you are following the road and you have a crest and you would expect, okay, it will turn right. No, suddenly it turns left. And so we call these blind crests and it's a difficult to follow. You have a small tree somewhere here and there, but they don't give you the reference points. So that's why you're counting a lot your notes that they are correct and, and precise. Portugal is, is quite a technical rally. There's a lot of crests, corners on crests, but uh, Generally, it's uh, you know quite demanding on on the tyres, uh, you know especially second pass there. Um, so, you know that that could be an issue. Very difficult, Ali. Uh, actually, the pace note has to be uh, very precise. You have to be 100% confident uh, to be flat out. And uh, yeah, then still uh, after all the crests, you can get surprised. Uh, many stones coming out of the road. It can get quite rough on the second pass. It will be a tough rally for us. It's never easy to, to be fast on a rally and to be on the limit without doing mistakes. So yeah, just have to just need your concentration on the maximum and the co-driver as well at his maximum. And yeah, usually then you can do it. <laughs> 